Hey guys, how's it going? It's Adama Sandlin. How are you today? So welcome back. We are still working on this ugly house. Well, it's actually not as ugly as I originally planned. It's actually, I mean, you know, maybe my opinion, but I'm really digging how this place is turning out. I mean, it kind of reminds me of a mansion that, uh, or a, a, a cottage, some kind of rich place that used to be, and then it got added on to, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm really digging uh, where we're going with this. So anyway, today we're not going to be doing a whole lot, but we are going to be putting in some supports. You know, we're going to get rid of this big floating overhang here. Well, not get rid of it, just make it actually look like it, you know, <laughs> can exist, you know, without falling apart. I mean, technically, if you wanted to uh, do something like this yourself, you could do part of it destroyed, you know, maybe make some of the posts pseudo broken off. You know, I know maybe uh, vanilla assets extended, uh... I believe that's what the mod's called. You can actually have some broken pieces. But anyway, so we're actually going to be putting in this post here because I don't want this one floating. I'm actually using this idea that I had uh, way back when when I was doing the Uncle Scrappy's Treehouse. So those of you that have been with my channel for a while may remember that contest that I ran that unfortunately because after I, well, deleted all my videos, uh, never got to actually finish that. I know some people were working on those trees are working on those tree houses so i apologize to those uh for actually never bringing that back uh but you know true flot uh you're, you're a champ man you worked on that for a long time same thing with uh, slim dave uh yeah you guys are awesome and i'm so glad that you guys got involved in that and uh phoenix and uh, uh denise welcome back uh, you guys will be uh seeing more of her i'm sure and uh yeah uh, it's not been the same since she's been gone <clears throat> but anyway, so actually, I, I did these uh, two-layer posts in Uncle Scrappy's treehouse. Uh, I really liked uh, how they turned out. It just gave it some, kind of like those footers on the metal post. Just kind of broke up. So it's not just one big black uh, post or not one just big, uh, you know, wooden post. You know, it just kind of broke it up. You know, nice little, uh, you know, maybe they ran out of materials. You could technically even reverse these so that you got uh, one with wood on top, the other one with the metal on top. Or even just do it, uh, you know, completely opposite of this. But anyway, I really like that. So here we're putting one inside because I didn't want, I didn't think, uh, you know, in real life, if you're building an awning like this, uh, you know, there's got to be more supports than what it is. So I do go for that realism, what it could be, what it might actually look like. Uh, so putting in this small one here on the center, I do actually end up moving this one over. But right now I'm just actually kind of just judging it and eyeing it, seeing where it would be the best place for it to go. But uh, so once we get that in there, just th this one's actually snap. It goes right through the ceiling, as you'll see here in a second. <clears throat> and I actually do end up uh, moving that out. So we'll clip that in there. Pretty easy. And that's a great thing about this is, you know, use your imagination. See what works for you. And don't be afraid to tear it back down. Uh, if you guys want to go back and watch my uh, Finch Farm uh, micro build, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, it was uh, a pretty fun doing that build. It was very small. Uh, I wish I could have decorated more in there, but I wanted to do it very uh, quaint. But uh, here we are. So I actually bought out with the Quapa tool because I just couldn't get the distance right uh, between the uh, floor here and the overhang. So I dropped it down through a little bit, but it's actually going to hide it, uh, which I do go off camera and look. It actually gets hidden in the pillars there uh, down below the, uh, the post holding this whole deck up. So yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. I'm just going to scooch it over just a smidgen, just a little bit. Easy peasy. Posty squeezy. <laughs> Quapa squeezy. There we go. Easy peasy. Quapa squeezy. Nice. Nice. All right. And nice thing is, too, is once you get the second piece in here, I just did, a, I tested it with the wood one. And I, I kind of like how the wood turned out, you know, because I figure on there. You wouldn't want that metal going into your dirt because that would ruin your uh, your soil. You know, immersion, immersion. Uh, and then uh, once I got that, I realized uh, that this uh, I left this open uh, just when I was going in and out when I was working up here on the deck. So I wanted to go ahead and move this roof up with this roof in here. But of course, you know, with standard uh, snapping, you can't do that. So Busted out with the Quapa again. I wanted to make sure I actually, you know, edited out all the part where I kept editing it and I pulled it out. Actually, this part right here where I scooched it out, the only reason I'm even moving it this far is just because I wanted it to overhang. And I dropped it down because I didn't like that big gap that there was between the ceiling here and the uh, walls. So 
I thought it was pretty nice. So originally I dropped it down far enough, but I couldn't quite uh, fit through the uh, doorway there, so, or the walkway. So now we're just putting in a few little rugs here. I put the uh, shower rug in there, you know, these figures stepping out. And these are the little uh, vault tech uh, rubber mats that come with vault tech But, you know, just to keep it up with that, you know, that realism, let's twist it to the side just a little bit. You know, because when you're coming out around that corner, you don't want to slip and fall, you know, soak up all the water in the wood. You know, you could say the wood's treated, <laughs> whatever. But we'll get this in here. Nice. Uh, starting to put in a few fire barrels. Uh, these are over in uh, Decorations in USO. Uh, same place that uh, they came with, uh, the ones that came with uh, Wasteland uh, Workshop. Uh, I, I think it's Wasteland or Contraptions. Pretty sure it's Wasteland. Uh, have the uh, open barrels, but I didn't want too much light there. Didn't want to burn the crop, shall we say? So thought that pretty nice. And now we're going to put in this uh, oil lamp. Uh, you know, everybody wants to do an oil lamp. You know, sitting on the ground. Uh, I've seen a couple people do this. Uh, and there's some mods where you can actually on PC where you can get the uh, hanging oil lamps, but we don't have that. So here's how we do it. Just basically, it's the standard oil lamp found again in uh, Wasteland Workshop. And uh, I'm just hanging up here. Now we're putting in these uh, oil wall lights, or excuse me, candled wall lights. And I wanted to uh, just go, at this point I'm starting to think, what's the meaning behind this house and, and why is it here? And what would we have uh, actually in here for decorations? A bunch of farmers, you know? Yeah, so we gotta put in the uh, <laughs> the Todd Hood in here. So there you go. So you guys didn't watch that episode yet on uh, Violet's uh, thing there. So uh, the Todd Hood. It is actually him and originally I was gonna go with this little girl here uh, picture I don't remember who that's supposed to be I know there's a story behind it but I was thinking at this point it, I was actually going through in my head would it actually work in this situation I was even trying to figure out the lore so why would they have this picture uh, is this a little sister uh, is their mom is it their mom you know what was the reasoning behind having this picture down here but I couldn't think of one so we're gonna go with the standard farm picture and yes, I have, I've had people ask the question, do farmers actually have, uh, you know, pictures of farms? Absolutely. They have pictures of what they might want to do, you know, travel that they, you know, they'll want to travel for years, but never actually do it. And, uh, you know, so it's a nice little line. Nice. All right. So now I just want to rearrange the candles just a little bit here and just giving it one last look, you know, what's going to work with the lighting, how's it looking? It's starting to get a little darker outside so we can really get that uh, feel of what it's going to be like. Because lighting is very important to me. It goes for that whole realism thing. And, of course, you wouldn't want a uh, open fire barrel or a uh, open-sided fire barrel too close to the house, even though these are just the concrete uh, footings. But you do got a wood floor here, so, you know, no want no sparks getting down there and starting any fires. And nice little sitting area here. You know, it is important if you want your settlers to move around. Give them a reason to go to different little areas. You know, give them a little nice little thing such as a chair, a bench, anything. Get them, uh, you know, so not just standing around. So at this point, again, we're just covering the walls. I think I will actually change these flags out later. Actually, I haven't even thought about that yet until today when I was uh, doing this video, or editing this video, rather. But I will actually change this up because there's a f few favorite mod authors that I really appreciate, and I think maybe we'll put them back here. Reasons. But uh, I like the Minute Med flag. I think I can actually hang this on the window, but that kind of messes up the view. All right, maybe later. And now we're just adding in these, uh, again, these are from the Wasteland Workshop, I believe. And uh, these are the uh, garden plots, so you can have your gardens wherever you want, indoors, outdoors, floating in the sky. I've done that too, <laughs> even though it's really silly. Because sometimes your settlers will teleport up to them <laughs> or they'll, they'll usually just uh, stand on the ground if they're too high. But, uh, you know, they still get assigned to them, which is kind of cool. Nice. Uh, I decided to sink them just a little bit because it always just kind of bugged me that they were sitting up high. Now, if you put, like, a bunch of them really close together, you could fuse them together, make it look like one solid pile of dirt. And now that I'm saying this out loud, I thought about it, or I think about it, why didn't I actually do that? But anyway... We're just making it look like, you know, something that they added in here themselves. Nice. You know, actually it would be a lot less looking dirt too. But yeah, 
I always figured, you know, if you're going to be back here, you wouldn't want to be tripping on these uh, planters in the middle of the day. Uh, and, you know, I did... Uh, do I still have it up? Uh, I know I did the uh, wall garden over in the uh, county crossing build. And then I have uh, the... Uh, I had in the original Finch Farm big build, the mega build that I did, uh, that one had the... Uh, Garden plots, garden plots up on the uh, elevated shelving. I like that too. Nice. All right. Ooh, ooh, that scared me there. I thought my game froze up when I did that. <laughs> so yeah, very nice. So now we're just putting in this couple of curtains here. It's curtains for your rocket curtains. Nah, see, nah. But uh, yeah, once again there, you know, obviously there is this big open window here. You know, the benefit I thought about, you know, not even putting this shower here, but you figure with that big old cliff over there, there's not a lot of people that's going to be spying on you unless they got a good sniper rifle, a really good sniper rifle from the freeway overpass, but they're definitely not looking up over top of this. So very nice. I did think about trying to fig a uh, curtain on the outside, but uh, that just would look silly to me. And uh, now we're actually covering this wall. Uh, full disclosure on these two walls, I don't do it in this video, but later on I actually do get rid of that because I decided at the last minute uh, that I didn't like how this was looking. Uh, at the end of this video, you will see me uh, dropping the ceiling down, similar to how I did at the beginning of this video or uh, in the front, so that I once I realized that I could just do that, it made a lot more sense just to lower the ceiling instead of having these big, uh, well, it was a really good idea at the time. <laughs> if I had some longer wall pieces for these half walls, it would been better. And I, so once I saw that sign pop up, I was like, oh my god, this would be so funny if I put this sign in here. All right. <laughs> so look at, everybody look at the window, there's somebody in the shower, now showing. And then I figured, you know, I, I try to get this little sign here in all my builds. You might have, a few of you probably have picked it out, but never really thought of it. But I always thought this was a really nice uh, little poster here. You know, you look nice today. Just to remind people, you know, all my years in customer service, you know, sometimes it's nice to see something nice to people. Gives them that little sense of, I can go about my day. Nice. And I love putting these little uh, fault tech uh, lightings here. Lightings? Lighted signs in here and just for fun this is going to be a silly one we're just putting it this is the exit zone you know because obviously people getting out of the shower oh god where am i how do i get out of here oh look there's an exit <laughs> okay kind of anti-immersion but i think it's funny you know people in their real houses if you guys have ever had roommates how many of your roommates have ever had some kind of stupid sign or picture or whatever <laughs> but yeah so now here we are uh lowering that uh ceiling down you know, bring the ceiling down. Put some glass ceilings, you know. Break that glass ceiling for all the ladies. But yeah, nice. I like it. I like it. I am going to drop it down just a little bit. Uh, just because I also wanted it to hang out. There we go. Nice. Uh, and later on, I do actually go and uh, push that out. Well, guys, we're coming up on the end. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video for those that made it through. I appreciate it. If you want to help me grow, please share this video. I am Adama Sanguin. I love you all. I'm out.